Madam Speaker, I I'm also um, want to address another issue that's been um, quite, um, uh, quite troubling to me, um, and that is uh, the issue of systemic racism. I know um, I've spoken about this many, many times uh, in this House um, and with many of my colleagues, including colleagues uh, across the aisle, uh, and I would be, um, want to acknowledge that um, a couple of weeks ago, um, many of us got together uh, and, and wrote, uh, wrote a letter that was signed by, uh, by many members, led by our member for um, Hull Aylmer, and of course supported by people like uh, my friend from Hamilton Centre, uh, where we highlighted the need for the government to address the issues of systemic racism. One thing that COVID-19 has uh, shown us um, is that there is a racialized impact um, uh, of COVID-19, whether it's people who are working in the front lines uh, as uh, workers at hospitals or those um, who are working as cashiers or working in other, um, you know, restaurant industry, for example, um, are racialized people and, and there is a, a significant impact uh, of COVID-19 towards racialized people. It is um, in places like the United States and, and, and uh, England, um, we have specific numbers that speak to uh, this um, racial divide. Uh, but in Canada, we don't keep those type of statistics and I believe that that's one of the things that we really need to do is gather that information uh, and to make sure that we connect the dots between race, between poverty, between health, health services, uh, and I hope that this is an opportunity for us to learn and again um, mitigate in, in terms of uh, this, the second wave. Uh, but with respect to overall systemic racism, it's very clear that it, um, racism affects many people and if it affects them differently. Um, Anti-black racism is, is profound um, in our history. Uh, it continues, it's, uh, the, the, the um, social um, results are very, very obvious. Uh, the numbers kind of speak for themselves, whether it is with respect to the short, social determinants of health or towards um, issues of incarceration or issues uh, of education uh, streaming. Um, there, there is a profound impact on uh, Canada's black community, um, as uh, well as um, indigenous peoples who uh, have, uh, since Confederation, uh, have been uh, rendered to be uh, second-class citizens in, in all aspects. Um, of course, the, this conversation was sparked um, by the uh, tragic killing of George Floyd at the hands of the Minneapolis police. Uh, but of course, um, in Canada, we've seen our share um, of these tragedies, including the brutal attack on Chief Alan Adam at the hands of the RCMP. And, and the death of Chantal Moore, uh, and we've seen uh, the calls for all governments, governments of all levels, um, to reimagine what policing looks like, reimagine how the interaction between police and uh, individuals are, uh, especially those who may have mental health issues, especially those in racialized communities. And I think that moment is now for us to seize and to ensure that we address the systemic issues that have led. To, to these uh, devastating uh, results. And, and I, I hope, again, we'll be able to work collaboratively to advance these issues um, in, in the months to come. 